Hi, this is Handy Doctor. Today, let's talk about Quaylist. Uh, it's a great platform, I use it a lot. But we all know there are a lot of scammers on them. Today, we will talk about how we can detect the scammers and avoid them. So you save your time and sometimes even save you money as a matter of fact. So here are the several rules I will tell you. Rule number one, a very quick response to the apps. The second you post on it, you get a response already. This is scammer. Now you may say, how can that be possible? I like buyer to have a quick response. I understand that you want to sell it quick with a good price. But think about this. How likely there will be a human being sitting in front of a computer looking at your apps the second you post it and then send you a message. Almost impossible. So all those ones are computers. It's the computer doing the response, meaning scammer. Rule number two. You receive a super long first message. Super, super long. Scammer. Nobody will write you a very long first message. When you see an app, you just say, hey, do you still have the item, etc. Right? You're not going to write a whole lot of stuff. Only computer will do it. Rule number three. If the language look like computer-ish, they don't look like human language at all. Scammer. Now this is a true story. I just have happened recently. Okay, I'm trying to sell a Mini Cooper. It's a red color. So on the title of the advertisement, I say 2010 red Mini Cooper. This is the first message I get from one of the scammer. It said, is your red still available? What type of question is that? So from there you can tell Definitely, they use a computer program to pick up the very first words and put it over there. I mean, supposedly a human being seeks to say, is your Mini Cooper still available, right? And I understand most likely people will say 2010 Mini Cooper or 2015 4, etc. Very few people put the red color out there. So even though I did not do it on purpose, I guess I learned a lesson. From now on, this is what I'm going to do probably. A human eyes can see clearly and know how to ask the question. A computer can ask. So that is rule number three, computer-ish language. Rule number four, offer too much money. More money than you actually ask for. You may say, come on, I want to make money. Okay, I want to sell as high as possible. Yes, but who going to pay you more than what you ask? That happens all the time, by the way. They Sometimes they ask you to ship the items. So say, you know what, it's a little bit more difficult, so let me give you more money, etc., etc. Scammer, and that also leads to our rule number five. Anything in long distance, avoid it. They're all scammers. So anything asked for your PayPal account, your Western Union or whatever to pay your money electronically and ask you to ship the item on PayPal, avoid it. I'm not saying that they're a hundred percent scammer, but you should not do that. Most of them are definitely the case. So this is rule number five. Rule number six, when something is too good to be true, it is usually not true. And this is definitely the case on Craigslist. Anything too good to be true, forget about it. People offer you a lot more money, forget about it. Scammer. Number seven, ask yourself, if you are the buyer, would you do what the message tell you if you don't scammer use your common sense we are all human beings the buyer if it's a real one is also human being you don't do anything unreasonable 
we I also want to say this is that red flags very often come to get all the time. You don't see just one red flag, you may actually see two or three, or in fact you see something like this. The more red flag you see, the more likely it is a scammer. In fact, one red flag is almost always enough. So be careful when you sell stuff on Quicklist. You know, I have sold a lot and have been very successful. I basically get rid of all the items I don't want in my household. I don't make money out of it, but I just get rid of them. Uh, but really be careful and you will be fine. Okay, you will be fine. Make sure you remember my seven red flag. Uh, have fun working with Quicklist. If you like these videos, please make sure you like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.